I'm Marian's teacher, and I remember the very first day he came to school as a preschool class pupil. He looked much smaller and even more petite, tucked in the wheelchair. At the beginning, he was rather absent and reticent. And yet, by working together, us in school, with the parents and the caretaker, especially and with the aid of assistants in schooling, we have achieved a lot. He, through our mutual coexistence and interaction, transformed into one wonderful great child. When he was elected a president of the class in the first year, I made a joke saying that the law did not permit electing the same pupil as the president two times in a row. However, the children said that they would disobey the law and would choose him their president again. When he was enrolled in a first year of the elementary school, he reacted to nothing and was utterly in some kind of his own fight and he was lost in there. Then, when Selma, his teacher, started to work with him, at first, it was a bit of an effort for him. But at the end, with every day that passed, he was doing better than previous one. It was inevitable what happened there among his friends, other pupils and among all of us involved. It is one wonderful coexistence that enriched all of us. I believe that very important aspect of inclusive education is the fact that this education is based in intercultural dialogue and exchanging the ideas and that this type of educational approach rests on principles of education for human rights and freedom. At the same time, it is also a civil society education. Speaking of inclusive education and the benefits that it brings for the individuals and the community, we can count on the fact that it increases the self-esteem and self-awareness of every individual, yet nurturing the caring for others. Including children with special needs in regular schooling classes, I do not think that pupils are too happy to have those children in a normal school classes. I think that is better when they are included. Good side of it is that those children have the opportunity to study and to socialize with children. Believe it or not, I do not know. I think I heard of it, but I do not know what exactly it is all about. Oh, it started people are being trained, professors too but is not in fully capacity yet, so to say, but is one of the preconditions to enter the European Union and for the NATO integration too. Have to work on that. Inclusive education is the philosophy of the society while the level of inclusive education implementation is in a direct relation with the level of democracy and civilization values of the society. Inclusive education, in my view, should not exclusively be linked to the children with special needs. I would rather define the inclusion as one comprehensive quality of the process of education. As for so-called typical children, I consider that it is important to underline that the typical children become more empathic if they have friends who are with special needs in their class. In regards to the benefits for children with special needs, it is evident that they achieve more in academic sense and their socializing gets better. The thing I consider as very important subject is the level of egocentrism and the understanding of how the social community works or, in this case, what is the P-group dynamics. Furthermore, the benefit for those children is definitely their early development of the social support networks because their inclusion into peer groups at their early age means them finding a lifelong friends, while a portion of care, affections and attention that they receive from their parents is being brought into their peer groups to their friends in particular.
lot. Success Incubator is what we named our project that makes us involved in the overall regional project. The target group of this project are talented and gifted children because we consider them being neglected quite often. We anticipated to affirm them within the frame of this project. Proposes artistic and science colonies, visits of various experts from science institutes, as well as the fundraiser dinners where their works and achievements will be presented. Very important segment of the project is establishing the Volunteers Club. Within the club, the talented and gifted children will provide support to children who have difficulties in learning and adapting subject matters anticipated within the curriculum and also to the children who due to illness or sport competitions were unable to participate in a regular schooling classes. There is a great interest for this school in Duresh and in most parts of central Albania, where most our pupils came from. They come to live in dormitories so they can attend this school. Currently, there are 1,250 students in our school, and because it is a mechanical engineering school, most of the students are boys, about 1,247 students. For the first time, we are receiving girls to the Department for Ethics Studies, Technical Studies and Telecommunications. We have received three girls. Next year, we'll have more girls for Technology and Communication Studies, but in cooperation with the Ministry and the Agency for Professional Profiling, we try to find some new ways to organize greater cooperation and connection between the girls and the boys of our School. At the first meeting that we had with the parents, the teachers were asked to tell what actions would be undertaken and what will be done within this project. One of the activities that our school plans to launch is that once a week, on Saturdays, parents can use the opportunity and feel free to make use of school space to get involved in computer literacy education together with their children. They will be given free computer course. Their children, together with one teacher, train the computer skills. Word, Excel, email, etc. At the beginning, there was a fear that they would not come to the classes. There are unemployed parents too, and we wish that they spend some time with their children because they are unemployed. You could see that this project had a strong and positive influence on their relationship of children and the mothers, because mothers had the opportunity to spend the quality time with their children. At the moment, they were no longer the mothers, but like their children, were learning something new. At those moments, it were the children teaching the parents. So, we have seen and felt that this is something good and that it can improve this relationship. The teachers must understand and must change their attitude. It is like the gemstones mining or cutting germs into jewels. Only education can help in recognition of every child's values, so that every child, no matter if it has special needs or coming from different social groups, has the same right on education and also has the right to get the education in school that is close to home. No. Inclusive education, it covers all levels of education, that is what I know. Education for all the youth who need to be educated and who should have the chance to prepare for life.
In one school, we could educate children who have special needs, children without parents, and the children from orphanage. It means that people of one town have the same rights to education, without divisions and without differences. To create one complete education requires lots of will and it also demands for the changes to be done. Changes in policies need to be made by politicians and programs for changes have to be made. When we think of education for all, it is comprehensive and overall education and every child's right on education.